After a year of modest US dollar strength in 2019, 2020 looks set to be a year of modest US dollar weakness. The US economy is set to look less exceptional relative to the rest of the world, and a risk supportive market environment is set to erode the dollar's safe haven status. But timing is key. It is a tale of two halves for the US dollar. We don't see meaningful dollar weakness, at least for early 2020. Dollar status is too expensive to sell, is set to linger and limit opportunity to sell the broad dollar. The dollar decline is likely to be backloaded to the second half of 2020 when US election uncertainty and Fed's review of its monetary policy framework begin to weigh more on the greenback. While the low FX volatility backdrop is likely to extend into early next year, FX market should be anything but down. The euro may find it difficult to shed its funding currency status, at least in early 2020. But the next big move in the euro will probably be higher, supported by better European growth as Germany steps up fiscal easing. The sterling should have a good start to 2020, pending the electoral outcome. But beyond end January, if the withdrawal agreement bill is ratified, a return to reality could hold back further big sterling gains given the challenges surrounding a trade deal negotiation between the UK and EU. A phase one US-China trade deal, even when it happens, could be positive from a near-term sentiment perspective but still leaves open long-term escalation risks. It's not likely to be a game-changer for the renminbi with the outlook favouring broad stability. Renminbi will likely struggle to sustain appreciation. Gold and Yen's current consolidation is set to persist until early 2020, as safe haven flow weakens on expectation of a global economic upswing looming. But we maintain our positive stance on Gold and Yen on a 6-12 to month time frame. U.S. market uncertainty could rise closer to the November U.S. presidential election and strengthens the case for holding strategic gold and yen allocations as defensive portfolio hedges.